Hey bougie clique. Do you make trends or follow them? Do you envy and imitate the real trendsetters or are you confident enough to be yourself? Bougie exotical set trends, we don't follow them. We don't imitate others, people imitate us. Bougie exoticals make trends. Bougie people are not followers, we are leaders, we create trends, we do not follow them. We say what is fashionable or cool. We do not let the opinions of others rule us. Setting trends can be complex. A brand new trend has to be unique and exciting. Setting a trend involves taking risks, but it's rewarding to see others appreciating and copying your style. With a little bit of creativity and confidence, you can start your own trend. Think about the trend you want to create. There are many different trends, fashion trends, slang trends, new dances, or social media trends. Creative, simple, and accessible trends catch on because people notice the trend and can participate. While trends build on current styles and ideas, good trends represent something unique. Come up with an idea that is unusual and makes people wish they thought of it. The trend needs to be something that genuinely interests you too, and not just something new for the sake of being new. Make sure it's authentic to who you are as a person. Please keep it simple. The more complicated a trend is, the less people will be interested. Make trends that don't take much work for everyday people to participate in. Whether your trend becomes a thing or not, continue to do you. The thing that is the most important is that we remain true to ourselves. We do not do things for others to imitate. We do what makes us happy. Imitation is envy, not flattery. The saying imitation is the sincerest form of flattery signifies that emulating someone or something is a display of admiration or respect. This proverb suggests that the individual or object being imitated possesses qualities or values worth imitating. Imitation indeed has a complex relationship with both envy and flattery. Let's break it down. Envy. Imitation can often be linked to feelings of envy. Envy is a complex emotion that combines admiration and resentment. The individual imitating someone else may appreciate certain qualities or accomplishments of the person they are mimicking, yet simultaneously feel inadequate or resentful due to lacking those qualities themselves. Envy can motivate individuals to imitate in hopes of bridging the perceived gap between themselves and the person they envy. It's akin to saying, if I can't match your excellence, I'll strive to emulate you instead. Flattery. Flattery encompasses praising or complimenting someone, sometimes insincerely, to win favor or manipulate a situation. It serves as a social tool, where individuals use compliments to foster positive connections. Imitation can also be a form of flattery. When individuals mimic another person's behavior, style, or ideas, it can be interpreted as a sign of admiration or respect. It's akin to conveying, I admire you so much that I aspire to emulate you. The delicate balance. Distinguishing between imitation fueled by envy and imitation meant as a form of flattery can be challenging. It's often difficult to discern whether someone is genuinely showing admiration or simply mimicking. The context is crucial. If the imitation stems from sincere admiration and lacks ill intentions, it tends to be more on the side of flattery. However, if it arises from jealousy or a competitive urge, it veers more towards envy. However, imitation and envy share more similarities, as both involve comparisons with others and can influence behavior and emotions. Here are some key similarities. Comparison. Both imitation and envy entail comparing oneself to others. Imitation involves replicating behaviors, skills, or traits admired in others. Envy, on the other hand, revolves around individuals comparing themselves to others and coveting what others possess. Social influence. Both actions are shaped by social interactions and relationships. Imitation aids individuals in blending in and forming social connections, whereas envy may result from perceived challenges to social relationships or status. Emotional reaction. Both imitation and envy can trigger intense emotional reactions. Imitation may evoke feelings of admiration and ambition, whereas envy can cause feelings of dissatisfaction and longing. 
motivation. Both can act as catalysts for personal development and enhancement. Imitation can motivate individuals to acquire new skills and embrace positive behaviors, while envy can push individuals to reach their objectives and conquer perceived limitations. Self-reflection. Both actions can prompt self-reflection and self-assessment. Imitation requires assessing which traits or behaviors one wishes to emulate, whereas envy entails evaluating one's own attributes by comparing them to those of others. People might mimic or compete with others for different motives, and this conduct can sometimes escalate into bullying. Here are some typical reasons. Insecurity. Individuals who lack confidence in themselves might mimic others to feel a sense of belonging or to seem more capable. In an attempt to enhance their self-worth, they may compete with the person they are imitating. Jealousy. If someone feels envious of another person's success or skills, they may mimic them and strive to outdo them in order to demonstrate their own value. Absence of empathy. Certain individuals may lack empathy, failing to grasp the consequences of their actions on others. This behavior can spiral into bullying tendencies. Learned behavior. Bullying and imitative behavior can be acquired by observing others, particularly if such conduct is commonly accepted in their surroundings. Yearning for authority. Some individuals resort to bullying to establish a sense of power and control. Copying and attempting to surpass others can serve as a means to assert dominance. Social interactions. Within certain social circles, mimicking and surpassing others can serve as a means to achieve social recognition and approval. While imitation and balance is a form of flattery, and mirroring can be a sign of interest, engagement, or even a desire to connect with you, many people take it too far and become complete copycats. These negative forms of copying include the following. Studying you to take note of all your mannerisms. Copying your accent or vocabulary. Adopting the same thoughtless habits, like how you tap your feet, play with your hair, or fiddle with your pen. Flirting with your romantic partners. Mimicking your sense of style. Getting the same haircut as you. Buying the same products as you. Trying to break into your friend group or befriend your friends. Claiming credit for or stealing your ideas. This act of copying is not only eerie, but can also be quite offensive, stripping away your sense of uniqueness. It may disrupt your daily routine and lead to unnecessary conflicts. Why would someone engage in such behavior? Psychology offers several explanations for this phenomenon. Absence of self-identity. Individuals with a strong sense of self do not feel the need to mimic others. Conversely, those lacking self-awareness may adopt characteristics from people around them in an effort to boost their confidence. When one is unsure of their identity, they may selectively adopt traits from others. They may view you as an ideal role model, leading them to focus on emulating all your qualities. Envy. When someone envies your life or success, they might think they need to emulate everything you do to achieve a similar level of success. They might believe that your success is tied to your mannerisms, appearance, speech, or interests, so they imitate these aspects. However, this approach is unlikely to succeed, as they cannot replicate your unique life experiences by simply copying your actions. Their circumstances differ from yours, so this mimicry is more likely to hinder rather than benefit them. Despite this, they continue to strive in the hope of achieving similar outcomes. Insecurity and low self-esteem. Individuals who are self-assured and confident would not resort to copying others. However, a lack of self-esteem can drive someone to imitate those they look up to in an attempt to feel better about themselves. Mental health challenges can also contribute to persistent imitative behavior, and the negative mindset associated with low self-esteem frequently leads to feelings of depression. Individuals with low self-esteem often have such a poor self-image that they aspire to be anyone else, making you the chosen one from a myriad of options. While it may be flattering, it can also be concerning. Obsession. Stalkers are not limited to individuals with romantic or sexual interests in you. Anyone who becomes fixated on you can be considered a stalker. If you suspect someone has developed an unhealthy and dangerous obsession with you, seek help from law enforcement, your attorney, 
or both. What do you think? Are you a trendsetter? Let me know in the comment section. Stay bougie.